So every year uh, at Williams, the swim team travels down to Fort Lauderdale during winter break to do some fairly intense training, but being college students as well, we, we like to have some fun. And uh, one of the first things we did when we arrived in Fort Lauderdale was to go to the supermarket and stock up on all sorts of food for the week. We were in line waiting to check out with baskets full of food when we noticed that a couple in front of us had equally you know large amount of food yet nicer food better food than than ours and being you know goofy college students we decided to engage them and say well look at this beautiful uh, piece of steak it's much better than us maybe we should go to your house instead and the couple sort of caught on to this and they started engaging us and joking around with us and when we joked about coming uh, over to their house for a party they said well why don't you guys come why don't you come over to our house we're having a cookout tonight and we laughed about it and said oh that would be really nice and we thought they were joking I distinctly remember the husband of the couple saying no you must come and he took a, a gum package of, of gum that had uh, several several packets in it dumped out the gum and wrote a very detailed map uh, as to how to get to their house from our from our efficiency he knew where we where we were and he insisted that we come and we laughed it off and they left and paid their bill and we did the same and got back to our uh, apartments and said well should we do this and so we piled into the college issue van that we had driven down from Fort Lauderdale and went to this beautiful house in a, in a wonderful uh, Fort Lauderdale neighborhood on the intercoastal waterway we had brought him a nice bottle of wine well maybe not a nice bottle of wine but a bottle of wine as a gift and uh, talked a lot about whether we should actually go in or not and uh, eventually when we opened the doors of the uh, van and decided that we would go in just just at that moment, uh, the husband uh, opened the door of their house and uh, yelled into the house to his wife, honey, the swim team is here. And we were very excited about the prospect that we were welcome. So when we got in there, it was a fairly low-key cookout. Uh, lots of people there, uh, but not a lot of excitement. It felt a little awkward. The first thing we did was look, you know, look for the beer and see if we could get something to eat and something to drink. We started to get into the party and started to enjoy ourselves, uh, ate them out of house and home and drank them out of house and home, talked to lots of people, you know, and um, we did most of the talking. There wasn't a lot of, oh, why are you here? And as a result, we didn't really know why we, we why they were there uh, eventually we found out that the party was in fact an engagement party this couple's daughter was getting married to a young man and the two families were meeting for the very first time and they took it upon themselves to invite us there maybe to break the ice because that's exactly what we did we ended up playing pool and uh, frisbee and, and like I said eating them out of house and home and everyone seemed to be having a better time as, as the night went on and of course uh, being college students we what we used to call we won the party we were there uh, the last people there and uh, when there was nothing else to drink and nothing else to eat and we figured we had to get up early the next morning for practice we decided to leave and uh, when we when we were leaving we felt a little guilty that we maybe had pushed ourselves on this couple and that it wasn't appropriate for us to be at this party and so we profusely apologized about it while still thanking them for the opportunity and the couple said to us no 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 we insisted on you coming and in fact you have blessed our lives and so we thought, okay, well, maybe we did belong here. And uh, it was, it was a, a special Williams moment. Mm -hmm.